Hi guys, Ian Holtz here over at Affiliate, and today we're going to give you a uh, tutorial of the newly released uh, Affiliate Dex, which has been integrated into the latest version of the Affiliate Desktop Wallet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started by opening up the wallet. Adjust it here a bit. All right, so I'm running uh, Affiliate Desktop Wallet on Windows uh, version 2.0.4. Uh, guys, you'll need that version in order to actually see um, the alpha um, pre-release uh, DEX. Uh, so make sure you've got that version. It is available on Linux and Mac uh, in our GitHub, and I'll provide a link of that uh, in the bottom of this video. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you'll notice I'm, I'm running mainnet. Um, you see that right here. Uh, you'll need to toggle uh, to testnet. So that's kind of the first issue that most people have, have had uh, when trying to test out the demo decks is that it's not available on mainnet yet. Uh, this is just a demo release until we can work out the bugs and, and, and get things rolled into a, a mainnet release. And that will happen, uh, guys, sometime in August. All right, so uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna go over here to settings. Uh, and we're just gonna select network little drop down and then once I select testnet uh, you're gonna see the decks pop up right over here we'll go testnet boom uh, trade decks auto populated everything else is the same uh, with the wallet you can still use it it's a fully functioning uh, wallet on mainnet uh, and you'll just need to toggle the testnet in order to uh, test out the decks uh, so we'll select decks and the first thing I want to point out is uh, you're gonna see this banner uh, this is going to follow you everywhere uh, when you're on the on the um, on the demo decks, and it's basically just a disclaimer, uh, letting you know that uh, this is a, a test version. Uh, and by the way, it's it's because it's a test version, it's running on testnet, uh, which has degraded performance. Uh, we've been monitoring it; it's somewhere in the realm of three to five times slower that the uh, the block sync is happening. Uh, that will not be the case when we roll over to mainnet, and it potentially won't be the case in a future version of uh, testnet. We're looking at uh, implementing some solutions as we speak, so uh, stay tuned for that. All right, so here's the DEX. Uh, it's going to default to candlesticks. Um, I've got it running on night mode. You can toggle up here on the top left to uh, between day and night pretty easily, so I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how fast that is a few times. And uh, let's just go through this. So up here on the top left, uh, these are the pairs that are available. Uh, we'll continue to add to these pairs. Uh, ATI isn't a real token. It's, uh, it basically stands for Affiliate Test Initiative. Uh, it's a token that, that we've minted uh, on the test net uh, for purposes of testing out the demo. Um, so there's a gas ATI pair. You'll need uh, either test gas or test API, ATI or both to be able to um, make a transaction. Uh, you can you can select this uh, and then actually go to another pair that we've added, which is gas and affiliate. And that's how fast that it switches between those market pairs. And again, you'll need either test gas or test APH or both in, in order to uh, trade in those market pairs. Um, so uh, a few things, uh, you can toggle between candlesticks uh, and depth fairly easily just by selecting them. There you go. And then uh, you can place your buy and sell orders here. Uh, you can also toggle between, in this drop down between uh, limit orders or market orders. Uh, here's uh, my order history right here um, on the bottom. And then you can toggle between open orders. I don't have any open orders. I'll actually place an order here in a second. Uh, here's the order book on the top right. The bottom right is uh, the trade history. Um, you can either uh, deposit the token that you're trading and then make the trade, uh, or um, the, the DEX will actually notify you if you're, if you're short um, and then potentially take those tokens from you upon approval in order to make that trade uh, if you don't have those tokens, uh, but you do have them available um, in the wallet. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a test. I'm going to test. Let's actually do a trade on testnet DEX. Uh, we're going to, uh, let's go for buy. Uh, let's make it a, 
Let's make it a uh, market order. And let's go 1,000 APH. Oh, whoops. And so you're going to get a notification that uh, I don't have enough gas uh, in order to do that. So uh, we're going to switch over to, to sell. And we're going to go 1,000 again. We're going to place a sell order. And we'll get the confirmation here. I'm just confirming um, uh, that it's a market order that I'm selling and then also uh, the orders that I'm taking. Uh, the fee for completing this trade is going to be 0 0.0002 APH. Uh, for the, the test decks, uh, we're requiring 0 0.0001 uh, APH for each transaction. So if this were to take five transactions to fill, uh, you'd, be, uh, you'd be ding 0.0005. Uh, APH. That's an arbitrary number, guys. Just uh, as a placeholder, uh, we haven't released the exact terms of the APH requirement for the actual DEX. Uh, that'll be dependent on the value of APH, uh, the, the liquidity, and, and a number of other things. Uh, we'll, we'll release that formula, um, you know, in advance of the mainnet release, uh, and that's going to be a fluid number. So it's going to change based on market conditions and whatnot. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, let's go ahead and submit this. You'll see in the bottom, uh, you get a notification that the two orders were relayed. And uh, they'll hit the order book. And yeah, pretty straightforward. You can also uh, dep deposit gas, withdraw gas, uh, deposit APH, withdraw APH here. Uh, those buttons will change uh, when you toggle between markets. Also, uh, we're going to have an integrated feature here uh, for uh, claiming APH eventually because, uh, as most of you know, the APH that is spent during the transactions, 80% uh, of it's going to be redistributed. Uh, you'll just see that that buy, buy order was filled on the confirmation. Uh, and uh, so there'll be a way uh, built right into the UI where you, you actually be able to claim that APH that you're eligible for that's that's being redistributed so so stay tuned for that as we roll that into the ui um that's it for now guys hope you like it uh we welcome you to our telegram channel as we work through some of the uh, the initial feedback and, and bugs so we can move uh, quickly into mainnet release thanks guys